In this class, we will learn about duplicating and scattering objects around the scene so that it simulates grass. There are several ways to perform this process in digital mockups, and we're going to use the scatter method, which is essential in applying other techniques we're going to study. So let's see how it works. See, in this displayed scene, the terrain has been modeled according to the original design. You can also see the 3D grass model that will be used in the matrix. After selecting the terrain tool, convert the structure to an editable poly. This procedure will be applied so that we can configure the model mesh correctly. Assess the Graphite Modeling tool and click Topology. This option adjusts the mesh to the model. Click Edge Direction. See how the mesh adjusts correctly and displays polygons on the four edges. After the Polygon Selection Mode is enabled, then select the empty places where the house isn't placed, like this. After the faces are selected, unselect the Polygon Selection Mode without unselecting the faces. Now attribute the grass model and scatter it around the terrain. Select the grass. Select the compound object on the Create tab and select Scatter. Now our single grass object becomes part of the mesh. Click Pick Distribution Object. Unselect Perpendicular in the Distribution Object Parameters group and select Use Selected Faces Only and the Even option. The parameters for scattering the objects are already enabled. Type 20,000 in the duplicate field. Then 20,000 strands of grass will be scattered all over the terrain. Initially, input low values for the scene, as high numbers require more processing power and make the computer work slower. We recommend beginning with smaller amounts and then increasing. The maximum number for scattering is 65,000 copies. In order to make the grass look more random and realistic, you change these fields to rotation and scale to position the grass more evenly. Let's change the rotation values on the z-axis like this. We can see the grass looks different here and much more realistic. Save the terrain file as grass underline terrain. So now the grass has been inserted in the scene. Notice how the grass creation has been designed in a separate file. This was on purpose as scattered grasses or other objects require much more computer processing. One solution for this is to import the grass as XREF. XREF objects are not really part of the scene but they are only displayed and then require much less memory. So in this class, we created the grass using the scatter system. We also studied about inserting components into the interface, made up of many objects without depleting the design processing performance. This issue on processing depends on the performance of each computer. 
Resources such as these will streamline our modeling process for future rendering.